a spring note with funny birds. Angry birds sometimes on Mon oncle, my uncle Jacques Tato. I remember seeing this film many years ago when I looked uh, at it with envy and a sort of stupefaction because it looked so modern that house uh, uh, that features so prominently in there, it was so modern, surrealistic, in fact, and I thought this is uh, another world. Mm. In the meantime, of course, uh, decades have passed. Uh, still, looking at it yesterday, ah. I uh, could appreciate the fact that it had some features that are still modern, and uh, uh, it's, it's part of the intention of the author, uh, wait, <coughs> filmmaker, to use satire to emphasize um, shortcomings of ah. the modern age of technology. I'm thinking uh, two scenes now. Uh, uh, he wants to play some holes in, in this modern uh, technology attire. Sure. Um, play. And um, one is in that factory when things start to go wrong. It's supposed to be um, <coughs> mechanical, automatic um, making of things. Doesn't matter what, but it, they, they go wrong. And instead of doing what they're supposed to do, they take out something that looks like sausage, and it's not the concept. And then in the house, in the garage, uh, uh, the man and his wife are trapped and they try to convince the dog, um, a small little cute dog, uh, one of a few actually, this one belongs to some people but the others are supposed to be stray and we see them at the start of the film but I was wondering, I mean I, I don't see stray dogs like that, not here, this is maybe the western style which actually is not to have stray dog but stray dog support but anyway uh, they try as they're trapped in the in in the garage the modern uh, door and the well, automatic and everything and they couldn't convince the small uh, animal to to do anything to get them out and furthermore there's one of the help they sometimes call it in America. There's even a film, a good film, called Help. Uh, wherein there is a bad joke uh, with that cape. They put something shitty <laughs> inside the cape. Anyway, and the help is not, oh no, no, I'm not coming close to that. It, it's this fear of modernity also. And um, the film reminds me of The Party. Because we have an odd character, the uncle here, and this extra played magnificently by Peter Sellers in the party. Two odd uh, presences in both. Uh, they have they come to a modern house, and uh, the house has all the technology. And in the party, everything goes wrong. Uh, according. Uh, on account, not according to, but on account of uh, Peter Sellers, who starts to push buttons and then things fall apart. Uh, tables, bars, chairs move, water starts splashing around and, and then all hell breaks loose. In here, it's not so much Mononcle, even if he is an odd uh, character. Uh, a lot is played in uh, Charlie Chaplin style. So there's another uh, film maker, film creator that, that came to mind, an actor, of course, uh, in his own, mostly his own movies, famous for. Uh, 
with pantomime. There's not much talk to begin with. And, um, hi there. Let's get this. I, I thought this is, this was a good comedy. It was acclaimed, of course, appreciated by critics. It's not, however, one of the best ones I appreciate now. Uh, even if I remember being so impressed, as I have already said, by its modernity and um, its humor. The, the character is outré, strange and charming, attractive. Even if now he seems a bit odd, uh, I see him again after so many years.